Krasinski here. In this video, we're going to explore Grasp the Sparrow by the Tail. Grasp the Sparrow by the Tail is a combination of four different movements. We've got ward off, roll back, press, and push. Now, each one of these corresponds to that opening movement we did a couple videos back uh, in a slightly different order. Whereas in the first movement, we had away from body, pump, ward off, towards the body, roll back, shooting out like an arrow would be push, and then on or pressing downward is press. In grass the sparrow by the tail, we're going to do the same thing, we're just going to reverse the last two. So follow along, uh, we left off at the end of a transition, so we were facing this direction and we had just turned, so we did a ward off and turned. We sink back, rolling the hand upward, stepping out, coming forward, ward off, this is expansive energy, turn the hands inward, roll back, coming towards your Dantian, and then turn, bringing the energy past your Dantian, sink your body down as you roll it up, slide forward, compressing the hands together, Open up, palms slightly out and down, drop the elbows, get ready to push something heavy, and give it a push. Let's do that again. So we had just done ward off and turn. Our weight when we start this movement is on the right foot. We sink back, weight on the left foot, Weight compresses into that left leg, sinks to the ground, and we step out. We shift forward, squaring the hips up the end of the movement. Sink down, allowing the hips to turn, lining up with the heels. Sink into that rear leg. Shift forward, touching the palms, opening up. Sink that weight down into the rear foot and push into the front foot, squaring the hips up at the end of the movement. All right, let's do it from another angle so you can take a look at it from another angle. Sinking back. Step out. Ward off. Roll back, press, drop the elbows, and push. Again. Here we pull back. We've got to pull back in the motion. Pull back, loading up that rear leg. Stepping out. Okay, let's break this down a little bit further. We want to be clear when we sink and whether our power is going straight out, out and up, out and down, back and down. Um, I'll show you what I mean. There's a difference between each of these movements even though they look similar. Um, oftentimes movements in Tai Chi have two, three, or even four different directions that they're moving in. Um, so push is forward and up. Press is forward and down. Um, ward off is expansive. Roll back is down and in. So watch these powers. See if you can catch the, the subtle differences in each of these movements. 
So sink the weight down. Step out. And ward off. This is expansive in the whole body. Roll back. Pull down towards the center. Shifting away from center at the end. Press. There's a downward momentum to this. And push. So one thing I want to clarify in this movement as well is the feet. When we're moving backwards in our stance, the front foot is pushing backwards. When we're moving forwards in the stance, the back foot is pushing forwards. We talk about this idea of empty and full a lot, of um, shifting the weight. Shifting the weight is half the equation. Yes, the weight shifts, but the weight shifts because we're pushing or pulling. Right? So we want the action to be clear, not just the fact that we're shifting weight. Because I can do this movement and shift my weight. There's no energy being transferred. So we want to push, 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 push. Right? So again, right leg pushes into the left. Left leg pushes us forward. Right leg pushes us back. Left leg pushes us forward. Right leg pushes us back. And left leg pushes us forward. Let's watch it from the other side again. So a common thing that I see in this, and this will tell you if you're pushing with the leg or not. If when you're going forward or back, your front foot does this. When you go back, if you go back and your foot goes like this, foot comes up, you're not pushing with this foot. That's an indicator that you're not using that leg to create the motion. Power is generated in the legs, controlled by the waist, expressed through the hands. Let's try that again. So we generate the power in the legs, the waist turns. Generate the power in the legs. This has been Grass of Sparrow by the Tail. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.